Alrighty, um, nearly made it, but not quite. So yeah, I've got everything done, literally ready to add the fluids. So yeah, a little bit annoying, but it's like 7.30 at night, so I can't go and start an engine now. So I'm better off just walking away. So yeah, I had a huge day today, pretty well the whole day. Um, it was full on, taken up with everything. So uh, wide in all the relays, the start condenser and the um, uh, fog light relay. Um, so had to redo a bunch of wiring, um, but that's okay. It is what it is. Uh, connected the choke and the accelerator cable. Um, uh, the, the accelerator cable I got doesn't quite fit on the little divot over there, so I'm not sure why that's different, or whether there's some insert, or whether I need to go and grab another sort. But that's all right. That's a relatively minor thing. Um, yeah, so I've oh, got the exhaust button up, oh, the the old original exhaust, which actually isn't in bad nick, but um, it needs a new muffler. So I might just just make do for a little while, um, and then just get a new muffler with a with a um, pipe out the back, which that bit's all rusted. So yeah, I've connected all the vacuum lines, uh, radiators in, fans in. Uh, so I've got a clutch fan on this one. Um, so power steering lines are all done. So I run that new power steering drain line. Um, yeah, so fuel lines connected. Um, yeah, oh yeah, so Dizzy went in. I set the timing at uh, 12 degrees before top dead center. Check number one, piston was on compression stroke. Set it to 12 degrees top dead center. Got the Dizzy pointing at number one, put the dizzy in, so that should be at a basic timing level now. Got all the plugs wired in and connected up, um, so yeah, she, she's all there. Um, so yeah, wired in all the coil, which had to be modified a little bit for the crossbow to V8 conversion, so to get a little, little bit of modification in there to make it all work. Um, yeah, so, oh yeah, so transmission cooler lines, so to run the transmission cooler lines, which are up there all the way through, and I've just got the trans cooler sitting there. Um, obviously the radiator had to go in, cowling had to go in, uh, new radiator mounts, top and bottom. So when you convert to a V8, you're going to move these bottom mounts, so they normally sit there and you just flip them over the other side, so you don't need any parts. You just need to flip them over the other side. Um, so yeah, just a note. Um, yeah, so just the yeah, wiring took a lot longer than I had planned. Um, and uh, yeah, I had to tighten the engine and uh, engine mounts as well, which was a bit of a pain considering access and all that stuff. So wired up the alternator. Um, again, I had to do minor mods to the alternator wiring. Um, and I got rid of all those excess wires from the old cop car days. Um, they were just being in the way and a nuisance, so um, I just put them aside and taped them up. So, yeah, oh, yeah radiator overflow and the water washer, put them in. Um, yeah, so I wired through to the lights for the, the condenser fan wiring and the uh, fog light wiring so their wires are sitting there ready to go um, so yeah so I just got a bit of tidying up here but I'm not going to do that that's the ignition to the start relay there so and I've just got a temporary set up there at the moment so I'll, I'll connect those two up uh, after I've done my engine testing so there the wires ready to go back inside the cab for the uh, fog light and condenser um, and the aircon will be run uh, later with the aircon when I get around to doing that um, yeah so yeah big day it was a long day um, took a long time to do things just which is as expected I guess uh, it just takes a long time to do things uh, so really that's about it so I'm hoping gosh I'm not going to say it but maybe maybe tomorrow I'll get all the fluids top up top up the put another five liters in the trans and then I'll wait to the start it then I'll fill up the rest um, fill the radiator
power steering and yeah, chuck some fuel in the bowl, the fuel up the bowls here. And um, yeah, give her a crank and see what happens, I suppose. Yeah. But that won't be today because it's 7.30 at night and I don't think the old neighbors will want to hear this thing with a pretty well set of straight pipes out the back. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's, that's what it is. That's what I'm up to. So hopefully tomorrow, We'll see. If I don't, I apologise. I'll try again the next night. It just depends what else is going on with the family and stuff. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's probably my day. So, huge day, summarised in five minutes. So, there you go. No worries. Um, cheerio. Thank you.